Okay, this is um, questions and answers 21 to 40 for the forward tipping dumper I09 technical test theory. Question 21. When forward tipping a load, the centre of gravity of the machine changes. What effect does this have on the dumper? And state two actions to avoid accidents. The centre of gra gravity moves to the front, tips slowly on firm level ground. 22. Using the operator's manual, state the cold starting procedure for the machine. Note the operator's manual for the machine being used for the test must be available for reference by the candidate. Refer to the accessible manual state procedure. Number 23. Name three purposes of the raised lugs on tyres and what can happen to a dumper if the lugs are severely worn. It affects the traction, the steering and the braking. OK, number 24. The operator is asked to tip material into a trench. State five different requirements that must be considered or implemented before tipping commences. People, services, stock block, permission, material and overheads. Number 25. If checking the oil level using a dipstick, why must gloves be worn? Prevents contamination of skin and machine controls. 26. The operator has to use a new type of dumper, i.e. swivel skip, that they are unfamiliar with. What do regulations, i.e. Pure 98 and other guidance require the operator to have information, instruction and training. OK. Number 27. Name three ways in which an operator can minimise their impact upon the environment whilst using the machine. Turn off the machine when not in use. Oil or fuel leaks. Stick to haul routes. OK. Number 28. Name three ways a plant operator can contribute to ensuring repeat business with a client or principal contractor. Safety quality and efficiency number 29 a dumper is classified by a manufacturer as a six ton dumper what does this mean it means the dumper is capable of transporting a six ton load Number 30. What is the purpose of a method statement and what is required of the operator? How, to, how the job is required to be done, safety requirements and instructions. Number 31. What is the minimum distance allowed near open trenches when travelling with a dumper and explain why? The depth of the trench determines 
the distance and a little more. So, for example, if the trench is two metres deep, then you need to be two metres away from the trench and a little bit more. Thirty two. What are the possible outcomes of facing prosecution for not complying with le legislation and regulations? No further action, fine or imprisonment. 33. The operator has been asked to drive the dumper onto a transporter trailer. Who is responsible for the loading operations? and state four actions to be considered by the operator before loading commences. The low load driver is responsible for loading operations. The, the trailer needs to be level on firm ground the trailer condition needs to be good and there needs to be an accessible egress route for the transporter. Number 34. Larger dumpers use a turbocharged engine. What is the normal procedure before switching off the engine after working? And what happens if the procedure is not followed? Let the engine tick over for several minutes before switching off to prevent turbo damage. Number 35. When working in a confined area or space, what danger can be present with an articulated dumper with regards to steering? The dumper body pivots, increasing the chance of a collision. 36. Why must the seat belt be worn at all times? To keep you safely seated in the event of an accident or rollover. 37. What allows the wheels to follow the contours of the ground when travelling on uneven ground? The axle pivots for stability on uneven ground. Okay, number 38. During work, the engine starts to overheat. Explain the danger if someone tries to remove the radiator or expansion tank cap. Injury from boiling pressurised water. Number 39. Using the operator's manual, state the, f the figure for tyres operating pressure. For track machines, what specific checks must be made to the track belt? Note the operator's manual for the machine being used for the test must be available for reference by the candidate. Refer to operator's manual an appropriate page. 40. Why should a dumper be refuelled at the end of a day? To eradicate or reduce condensation. 